Hello friends, it is I, Self-Critical Automaton, and it is time for me to start playing video games for your benefit once again. This time, I was going to say it comes but once a year, but it happens frequently. Hi Oral. Hi Acrylic Spatter. Uh, although apparently it's like judging by my page, it's been a week since I last streamed any Hollow Knight, which doesn't feel right to me at all. What have I been doing all this time? But, 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 but. That's, you know, all good. We're fine. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. So, what are we doing? We're playing Hollow Knight. And here we are in Hollow Knight, ready to play the game. Do I remember what I was doing? No. Do I remember what I did? Maybe? Do I have a broken Xbox controller? Also, maybe. Some of these questions will be answered today, and others will not. So, let's see. Okay, my current goal is to explore the fungal wastes, I think. That's the next, That's the final place I have to go. As far as I know, plot-wise, so far. There's a few corners, odd corners left that I could explore that I haven't beaten optional bosses, like Ghosts in, and there's a... There's like a slammy stompy room around here somewhere that might have some kind of treasure in uh, for me to explore. Which will be easier now that I have the iframes dodge. Oh, the hive! Okay, so that's what I was doing. I was exploring the hive. So I'll finish exploring the hive and then I will set off to visit the mysterious mushroom uh, or the mysterious fog zone. Let me know if my audio is okay or if I need to tweak things. And also, there must be a quicker, must be an easier route here. Oh, see, use mine was confusing to me until I remembered that you are my flatmate and therefore I can literally use your Xbox controller. Hey, human, always good to see you. But the problem is that your Xbox controller is also broken, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think the the button that the button that does this doesn't work on yours. And the problem with mine is that its uh, 3D stick is kind of kind of wobbly and loose. Um, anyone who wants to and has some kind of disposable currency in their life is welcome to donate to me via Ko-fi or Patreon if they like my Let's Plays on YouTube or my streams here. In which case, I will be able to buy an Xbox controller that is not broken. That is my one and usually only uh, mention of that sort of stuff. Probably nobody watching doesn't already know that that's an option, and also is well aware of my YouTube channel where I do in-depth, well-researched Let's Plays and fall in holes less. I think, I think I'm gonna go down to the bottom and use the the secret bench I discovered. But also I need to remember to talk a lot less because one of my consistent problems at the moment is my throat being all busted up. And if I talk for two hours solid, I literally make myself sick. So I have to try and uh, keep my commentary shorter and to the point, rather than constantly just talking forever. With 10 million, 10 million dumb jokes and or... Is that going to hit me? Insightful comments. single best move in this entire game so far. I've unlocked a great deal of new things that I'm able to do. And I, I, I really think that the, the supersonic zoom thing is by far the most fun. And I, <laughs> oh no, I'm going to sneeze, I was about to say. I 
sure are a lot of bees in this hive. It's almost like that's how they work. Did I get lost? No, that is the right way to go. <laughs> anyway, I think that's the first time I've ever successfully just fucking sneezed right into the microphone. Um, I'll try and pr try and never do that again, I promise. <laughs> But you know what? I probably shouldn't make that promise because... Oh boy, my nose feels tickly. Well, that didn't work. I've successfully traversed the danger zone. Oh, actually, there was one more boss, now that I think about it, that I missed. Or well, I didn't miss, but I gave up on. The only... The only boss I have found and not beaten that's not an irritating ghost, I think. Oh, this guy seems like a boss. Hm, yep, boss time. Cool. I like this guy's design. I feel like there should be some kind of bee pun, but I've got nothing. Looks like that guy had a sting in his tail. Yes, he literally did. That's not a pun. Looks like I have ceased to be. I guess that's one. It's a bit weak, though. Am I going the wrong way? Yes, I am going the wrong way. Probably some honey puns somewhere. My inability to discover puns is the real, the real shame post COVID. What awfully specific brain damage I have. Oh, I should farm up some soul on these things before I go fight the boss. That would be smart. You know what that is? It's unbelievable. That's basically the same pun again. That's not acceptable. Really unfortunate pun ratio today. Maybe farming soul on things that can do two damage if they hit me is a mistake. Case in point. I suppose the trick trick here will be to just die and then start over. <laughs> hey, hey, come fight me. Oh, I'm s I'm gonna lose this again. This might take a few tries, but it would definitely help to come in here without uh, 
Zero fucking hit points, I think. Maybe I wish this guy would buzz off. There we go. It only took me, what, five whole minutes to come up with that one? I feel like the vast majority of my experience in this giant beehive can be summed up by the phrase, well, this could be going better. I can actually reach the boss without losing all of my hit points this time. Without losing most of my hit points this time. I really love the art design in this area. I say that about every zone in this game, but... It's hard to make very gloopy look as good as they have here. The lovely amber glow. These orbs are going to be a problem. <laughs> I don't like that. No one should have that ability. I don't think he should have the right to be sick on me, specifically. Fuck. Well, I did a little bit better that time. I like that he hit me with something- with, he hit me one time and I instantaneously tilted, therefore the only correct play is to never get hit by him ever again. I should be able to beat this guy hitless, right? It's fine. Pro tip, if your opponent does not hit you ever, it does not matter how many hit points you have. And it also doesn't matter how many hit points you lose. Whoa. Steady on, lads.
You know, normally I don't say thanks for watching until the end, but you know what? I think everyone who is spending their Saturday night watching me play a video game uh, deserves to be thanked for their sacrifice. You could be out having fun. And instead you're in here having fun. Alright, that's a slightly better position than I was in the last time. Uh, to answer your question, out is the opposite of in. Every exterior must have an interior, every interior must have an exterior. The interrelation of these things is an exercise left to the viewer. Oh boy, these guys are gonna kick my ass. As much as I love the knight's little tippy-tappy footsteps as he runs through the game world, I really feel like there should be a different soundscape for the, the honey zone. He should be going- it should be sound stickier. It should sound wetter and slappier. Come down here and fight me where I can reach you. I've got bigger fish, and by fish I mean bees to fry. Not a great start. I'll give myself that much of a criticism. Being unable to dodge through things multiple times and being unable to- Oh, I'm just gonna fucking die. I'm just gonna fucking die. Am I bad at this? I like how I managed to get through ten streams of this, basically beating every boss I fought first try. And then I don't play this for just a few days, by which I mean like a week. And then immediately I've lost every piece of skill I had. What did I even do this week? I literally don't remember. What is it? It's Saturday. What did I do? Did I do anything? I had an appointment that was cancelled at some point. And I recorded an episode of a Let's Play for YouTube at some point. Other than that, I got nothing. Definitely for one thing, I am too warm. It is time to remove my cool goth hoodie, which you guys don't get to see because I have, no, have not and probably never will indulge in a face cam. Although, I have, I have thought at times about uh, getting a VTuber rig set up or, a, or even just a ping tuber rig. I feel like that would fit the whole uh, very, very rarely stuck to bit. The bit to which I do not commit. Uh, that I am, in fact, a robot constructed solely for the playing of video games, currently resident on an orbital platform. <laughs> which I, which I now realise is just MST3K. There's truly nothing new under the sun. Effortlessly dodge every single one of these guys, and then that boss will hit me three times in a row. <laughs> I 
I think partly it's that I'm not used to incorporating the uh, iframes dodge. I think partly my problem is that I'm just having trouble picking up on his movements at the moment. So if he hits me, I panic. And then because I panicked, I failed to avoid the next hit. So the answer is to simply just not panic. Whoa, that was close. Ooh, I just got me. I kind of love the body horror as well. It's not, it's not enough for a wasp to simply sting you. It has to rearrange its entire body shape for the purpose of stinging you. It has to turn itself inside out and vomit an enormous stinger through its face. I love that this knight says huzzah. <laughs> If I hit one of those orbs, it splits immediately, which could be useful, but I think I just need to focus on dodging during those phases. And not dodging into him as well would also be good. Hey, you can't do that twice. Like, dodging through him is the correct move, generally. But if I get the spacing or the timing wrong, I'll just hurt myself. Hey, could you vomit some more bees so that I can have some time to heal? No? Okay. As always, the answer does seem to be play a bit more defensive. Focus a bit more on dodging. Don't try and get three hits when it's safer to get two, etc. AKA Dark Souls rules. This this queen in the background does not seem to give the slightest of shits that I just slew her mighty knight. I think her facial expression would change or something. Huh, weird. Her abdomen should be like a big egg sac. Where are all these uh, ba all these horrible bees coming from, if not from her voluminous egg sac? Which is also a good egg- <laughs> Voluminous egg sac is a good rap name, I think. Hive blood. Golden nugget of the hive's precious, hive's precious hardened nectar. Heals the bearer's wounds over time, allowing them to regain health without focusing soul. Oh, hell yes. Oh, 100%. Hi, what's up? My knight, at last you are freed. Small thing, I know you're kind. If you attempt to resolve your past, then know that I am not the queen you seek. It is the pale beings that bear blame for your nature. Though this hive exists within Hallownest, we play no part in its attempt at perpetuation. Cool. To rail against nature is folly. All things must accept an end. Yeah, so again, I've said before that this game basically parallels everything that Dark Souls uh, did. 
which isn't bad if you're going to copy, copy from the best, right? But I, I really like that it's even to the point of this, the basis of this society being this eternal perpetuation of a cycle and the eternal per perpetuation of cycles being against nature and thereby causing some kind of existential malaise that destroys the world. Like, um, it's a strong theme. Can I dream coil her? What happens? Oops. Oh, oh no! Ah, oh, beans. I didn't mean to eat her. Okay, well that's that's two friendly ghosts accidentally devoured. <sighs> These things just happen, I suppose. <laughs> your, your honor, I plead oopsie daisies. Oh, hey, Big Daiquiri. Not seen you in a while. How are you doing? Is life continuing? I hope it is. Yow. <laughs> Laser-guided ass missile, are you kidding? Where am I even going? Ah, well, I need to get better about um, putting doing stream announcements in the morning so that people have more of a chance to see them. I mean, it would be good to go back to having a regular streaming schedule, actually, but at the moment I'm committing to having no schedules. My general goal at the moment is to have, like... Like... Three episodes a week... Uh, on YouTube, as was my old way. And ideally like two, maybe three streams a week. But to not have specific times when I'm going to do them, because uh, otherwise I end up doing it at a time which is unhealthy for me, or whatever, you know? Oh, I should be resting today. Instead of, um, you know, taking a break or whatever. Oh, really? I thought you were in the Discord ages ago. Like, I have just taken a month off of uh, my YouTube episodes just because um, I was sick. <laughs> sick as hell and not able to do stuff. Now, what am I going to unequip to make that healing thing work? I really like the a fast slash and the extended nail. I really like all of these. I don't want to have to drop stuff. Heartbreaking. Well, I only need it when I'm fighting bosses, actually. But I am going to go fight a boss. So I suppose I should ready up. Are there any other one-sized ones? Ah. Increases running speed. Oh, I like that one. But it's kind of funny. I, um... I started doing streams again so that I would still be doing something while uh, while I wasn't posting videos on YouTube. Um, and I was intending to be posting these to YouTube, but I haven't done a single one of them, even though I have 10 streams archived now, ready to ready to upload. <laughs> Ugh. And it's just, uh, you know, for a glance, but glimpse behind the scenes, it's like uh, the issue, like, that's where I'm going to go, I want to fight this guy. Um, my problem is simply that I... Uh, what was I saying? My problem? I have a problem. I, what on earth could my problem have been? Oh, I'm going to throw some money away. I want to see what happens if I throw enough in. Probably nothing. Oh, I remember what my problem is. My problem is that I simply, uh, it takes like four hours to process an edited stream. And I don't, I don't edit them much, but it takes like four hours to process the video. So I have to leave my PC on overnight to do that, which means I have to do, 
I have to set that up right before I go to bed, and when it's time to go to bed, I'm normally just like... Done. But as soon as I finish making a title screen <clears throat> for, um, for Hollow Knight, at that point I will start uploading these to YouTube. And a small handful of people who haven't watched them here will watch them there. I've actually been wondering a little bit about what I should stream, uh, not stream, should let's play next, because I'm, uh, I think I'm starting to get towards the end of, uh, Paradise Killer. Where am I going? I think I want Queen Station. Also, I am going to take a, take the opportunity now that I have seven viewers, unheard of heights, uh, to do a little plug, which I don't, I don't normally do twice on a stream, but why not? Because I have a YouTube channel where I do <clears throat> well-researched, in-depth Let's Plays. And, uh, I also have a Discord where you can find streams being announced. And as you can see, I've already talked too much this stream. <laughs> <clears throat> Like, I'm not kidding when I say that if I talk too much on a stream, like, I genuinely damage my voice. Like, I have to, I have to, like, not talk at all for a day or two to recover, which is a nuisance to say the least. But yeah, no, I have a Discord, and I also have a Patreon, and a Ko-fi that people can do donate to if they want to. Uh, and all of the information for all of that is on my About page here or on YouTube. And if you haven't, you should probably check out my YouTube Let's Plays, because they are really good. My personal favourite is Dishonored, which I haven't finished, but I do want to go back and finish one day. Because it was the best I ever did, I think. But then I got COVID, and now I have brain damage. Hopefully one day I'll be that good again, fuck. Ah. Right, what was he doing? Oh yeah, going in a deep dark hole underground. Which I think we can all relate to. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you enjoy listening to the stuff I have to say. I used to also enjoy a great deal listening to the stuff I have to say. The, the point at which I thought, like... The point at which I realised, oh, I'm good at this, um, was when I realised I was regularly making myself laugh while I was editing videos. Where the hell do I need to go? How do I get there? I've been through this area multiple times. How am I still this confused by it every time? Well, that's a mean trick. Wait, that's where I rescued that guy, I think. Ah, oh, beans. Lost in the centipede hole again. Oh really? It creeps you out? See, I haven't really found anything creepy. I found things like evocative and haunted, destroyed grandeur. And I've considered things to be, I don't know, I guess spooky in what they represent. But like, I don't think any of this game is kind of uh, spooky in terms of its visuals. Or, or even tone and vibe. Like I wasn't, I was, I'm never nervous or uncomfortable going through these places. I'm just like, oh, interesting. What does this tell us about these people? 
like some kind of lost anthropologist. Or entomologist, I suppose, considering. Time to go, fight a guy, I'll probably die again. Oh, did I rest? I should have rested. Oh, got to scratch my nose. Alright. <laughs> that was a really inconvenient nose scratching time. Yeah, I found this I found this boss a couple streams ago, uh, and he kicked my ass a whole bunch of times. There's like a spooky little version of me that I was following through the, the spooky deep nest underground hole zone. And uh, it turns out that uh, it's like a, a ragdoll kind of thing that this guy is using like a... What are they called? Those uh, the deep sea fish. Anglerfish, like an anglerfish. Actually, they're not deep sea fish, are they? They're normal. They're like reef fish or something. Anyway, he's a huge pain in the ass to fight. And uh, he killed me like three times and I was like, I'm just going to come back later when I have more stuff. I mean, my channel is kind of nothing but quirky flexing, right? The whole basis of, of me doing uh, Let's Plays and streams is that I think I can do, I can do like critical evaluations and criticisms of games in an artistic and literary sense, live while I play the video games, and that I'm also funny enough to be a decent Let's Player simultaneously. So there's kind of a fundamental arrogance to everything I do. Just an inescapable knowledge of my own own superiority. Ow, fuck. Jesus. God damn, are you standing in everybody's way? What's your problem? Why is he like this? I think the thing that really fucks me off about it is that it moves faster than I do, which makes it really hard to dodge. Also, you can't always see the danger zones because they're underneath. Underneath the orange slime that he puts all over the ground. Is that coming out of your body, man? What's wrong with you? There's very few windows where it's safe to get hits in. This guy is by far the toughest boss I've found in this game. Almost every boss I've beaten, like, first, second, or third try. Oh, it looks like the healing item only heals me... Only heals me ever by one. If I need more hit points. Like, it only ever heals the most recent hit point that I've lost, I mean. There must be a trick to this guy. Give him a few tries, I think, and then I'll I'll give up and go fight something that can't fight back, i.e. the next main boss. for me is that 
almost all of his almost all of his animations have identical wind-ups. It's impossible to tell if he's going to jump up onto the ceiling or if he's going to jump far forwards or if he's going to jump short forwards or if he's going to scuttle along the ground. Just a really inconsiderate, horrible giant spider monster, really. It's actually the second time a placement there has killed me, I think. But yeah, I, I think it's... I'm, I'm usually reluctant to call games unfair, and especially not this game. Like, people call games like Dark Souls unfair, and it's not. It's extremely fair. It's just difficult. It's, it's difficult, but it plays by very, like, very strict sets of rules, you know? Um, if you lose at Dark Souls, it's because you... Generally, usually, it's because you didn't live up to its standards. Um, and this game is the same, but it's also a lot easier than Dark Souls. Ah, Bina! I haven't seen you in so long. I guess you could say it's been a while. This time I did not steam train into my own ghost. Which is really all you can ask for. Since you can't ask this guy to just leave you alone while you have strict words with your own severed soul. The fuck is your problem? I hate this guy so much. Oh my god. Elden Ring, I would say, is by far the easiest FromSoft game. Um, which is a good thing if it's if if you want to get into them and give them a go. I'm so going to die again. I'm not, I don't think the healing is helping me enough. I would honestly rather have fast attack and longer attack range. Um, than the auto healing. If it's only going to heal one point no matter how much I dodge. Oh, Sekiro, I think, is probably my favourite FromSoft game. Um, if you can get yourself into it, it's so satisfying. Um, and it's also a lot easier than people think it is. Which isn't to say it's easy, it's it's difficult. <laughs> um, but it's, it's a very satisfying game. Um... Why the hell... Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to bother with this guy, I'm just going to... Actually, no, I am. I'm going to give him one more try. I'm going to change these. I think this isn't helping. I'm going to equip these again. Oh wait, I don't need that one. I don't need knockback. I do, however, want range. There we go. Yeah, no, uh, I mean Sekiro is like one of my, my like my most heavily recommended games of all time. Uh, I might might stream it, maybe, at some point. Um, last, time I, last time I played it, I was like, oh, this is way easier than I remember. So, presumably, it's not a terrible idea. I don't think I ever really got super stuck on something. But on the other hand, I don't, I don't think I could survive the hit to my internet cred uh, if I were to play Sekiro badly on stream where everyone could see. You know, my ego is so heavily invested in being good at video games.
Is he getting faster? Is there like a list somewhere of the most asshole spiders in, in video games? I feel like that should be a list. Maybe that could be a hot take engine episode. I'm gonna die again. I did so well in the first half. I had him in the first half, not gonna lie. Is this thing like known as being like one of the, like an unusually tough boss for this game? Because genuinely, genuinely, uh, it's taken like already twice as long to, to fight this guy at least, maybe even three times as long as like the next toughest thing I've fought so far. Or am I just being a little bitch? Ah, not today. I've realized if I'm not using my mana to heal up very much, I may as well blast him with uh Well the traditional finish to that sentence is piss, I think, so... Ooh, that was close. Like, I swear to god, the size of his movements are the same size as my default movements, like... Like, his scuttle speed and range is, ex like, exactly big enough that if I dodge, he scuttles just far enough through me that I land inside him and take damage. Like, every other time I haven't beaten a boss first try, I've had to sit down and tell myself, just take it slow, just be defensive. And it's worked. But if, I, if I'm defensive on this guy, he kills me by attrition. And if I go aggressive, he just I just get damaged so much, I die instantaneously. I really don't know what I'm doing wrong. Any advice, tips, or answers on a postcard to self-critical automaton uh, orbital platform 56 Lagrange point 2 PO box N56 XBY that's an invented address don't try and send anything to it I made it up okay I think I'm tilting because like literally I've stopped I've stopped having a good start of this fight. <laughs> okay, it's not happening. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Need to go fight something I can kill just to just to feel the blood on my teeth again. Hmm. Actually I do want to go here while I'm here. Actually no, I'll go I'll take the train, I guess. Yes, the train will help. There's nothing wrong with taking the train. What's the easiest way back out though? I think if I go this way and take the tram, it's probably the easiest way to get to train station. Or to a big bug station, I guess.
Insert tramp ass. Ah, see, I just alt tabbed out to check something, and what I've discovered is that my goddamn stream manager has once again disconnected completely. Which means I've missed the last three messages. In his base form, Nosk has approximately 680, making a middle tier nuisance depending on how strong players are when facing him. Oof. <laughs> That's rough. Hmm. So basically, I should be able to beat this guy, and I don't know why I'm not. Because I'm killing everybody else without too much trouble. I wonder if... A couple of times when I've been like, oh, I'm starting to have trouble with this boss, they've been like two hits away from dying. So I wonder if I'm getting close to killing Nosk and just... Uh, just, you know, not quite, not quite taking it far enough. Or... Where the hell am I going? I want to go to the palace grounds. Why am I in here? That's not, that's not the right way to go at all. Oh no, I'm going to sneeze again. Hold up. Nope. You know when sometimes you're going to sneeze and it like, you can feel it build up in your nose and it's up in your sinuses and it's there. The sneeze is there. It's just waiting to jump out at you when you least expect it. And you can feel it and it's sort of almost like pressure and an itch at the same time and you want it to stop. I've got that right now. I don't think I've played Katana Zero. Is that the one that's like a top-down running around thing? Or am I thinking of something else? I guess you could say that uh, the problem I'm having here is that I have Nosk ill. Badump Tish. See, I remember playing something that I'm sure was called Katana Zero, but it was like a it was like a top down two D thing. That was like it didn't really have any story, and it was like a. A Robotron style, you know, like, just pl see how long you can survive. Um, running in circles, blasting stuff, kind of a thing. Maybe that's something else. Oh hey, I can finally swim through here. I still need to go get the map of this zone. Actually, I'm going to do that first and then explore because otherwise I won't know where I've been and I can't stand that. Having ADHD is a lot like being a particle under the uh, Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Like, I can either know where I'm going or where I am. And really, I need both. I love these guys' retaliatory bombings. Yeah, my stream manager is not playing along. Why do you keep disconnecting? I really need to get a better system. If I could just uh, get around to hooking up a second screen to my computer, that would work.
Haha, <laughs> you missed. Finally, finally. This is the second oldest mystery I've had in this game. I think it was like the third zone I was working my way through when I was like, hmm, this is weird. What's up with this? Ouch. And I could not get through the evil, evil spook barrier. The slime zone, whatever you want to call it. Man, how did you even get in here? You're behind like a mystic barrier that I had to unseal an ancient god just to unlock. Oh, Bina, you never change. Oh ho, as much as as odd as much of Hallowness can be, there's a whole new level of strangeness about these caves. Did you see that dark gate below? It's quite unsettling to be near. I did my best to avoid it. How? How? Give me your secrets. Fortunate for me, I found another route in, though I did end up a little singed after wading through some acid. What? No, no money. Fuck. You don't have enough geo? Ah, uh, I understand. I'd give you the map as a gift, but I don't think my wife would be very happy if I did. You don't, you don't care how happy your wife is. Every time I go upstairs, she just immediately says, I wish my husband wasn't leaving me alone in this tiny house all of the time. But does Cornifer go back home and treat his wife nicely? No, he stays down here in the shitholes of the earth. All food is made of geo, as they say. Now, I'm wondering, is that a metaphor or is that just true? Oh, wait, no, I still can't afford one. I knew I shouldn't have given all my money to the Pale King. Rookie mistake, really. Oh, I can go in the acid, I'm fine. I keep forgetting I can do that now. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Like, is that a metaphor? Because, you know, ultimately you get all food by paying for it, right? Or is ouch. Okay, those can explode. Didn't know that. Good to good to have learnt. Or is it more like Ah, motherfucker. Or is it literally more like having beans as a currency? Oh god, I'm so far back here. That was close. Actually, can I go off the end here? What is that? Oh, there's just a big door. Nothing to be afraid of. Well, if you feel like sending me a Steam code for something, I am always welcome to... I am always happy to receive gifts. Uh, provided that the people who send me them have the money to spare and are not putting themselves at risk by doing so. But... Uh, Oh, I need to switch my Discord noise off. I always forget to do that. Okay, I mean, if you're that tight on margins, like, you really don't need to send me Steam cards. But, um... But if you do, thank you. I appreciate it greatly. Like, my dream my dream as a streamer and YouTube Let's Player is to eventually be popular enough that people just send me stuff. Which will never happen. But I can dream. I'll be really surprised if, if it turns out that this game is exactly what I'm thinking of. Maybe it was like an early access thing and I tried it like day one of its early access, like years before it was finished or something. Because I really remember a game with that name that was just a, a 2D top-down 
run around in a circle and kill stuff thing, you know. Like vampire survivors, but without the sense of humour. Oh, I could have gone, I could have gone to the town and sold all of the journals that I'm carrying and then I would have had enough to buy the map. That would have been smart. I wish I was clever like me. I don't think I'm ever going to save it up by fighting jellyfish. <laughs> you can get 150 geo really easily in the later areas. Maybe I'll just explore this zone until I do find some blessed geo. Well, there might be some treasure chests around, actually. You never know. I feel like I've been through here before. Can I just, can I just swim under here? I can just bypass all of this. <laughs> I'm a genius. I will simply refrain from doing my work. Oh, I love to explore a spooky hole. Is this where- is there gonna be a snail mystic in here? I remember finding a snail mystic in a place like this. And he gave me my first spell. So really everything I do is his fault. Uh oh. Okay, that was pretty easy. Yeah, there was a geo mount here, so I definitely haven't been here before. Is that bad to touch? No, it's fine. Consumed the howling wraiths. Tap B while holding up to unleash the wraiths. Spells will deplete soul. Okay, cool. That's a new one. I guess this was a different snail mystic before he uh, died. So I guess you can get spells from snail mystics in general, which is good to know. You know, that's a tip you can take home and use in your own lives. Next time you're gardening. I think it was hold B and press up. Whoops. <laughs> hold B and press up. Nope, that wasn't it. Hold B and hold up and ooh, nice. Hell yeah. Oh, my my soul has a shotgun. I feel like I've backdoored into a zone. Not sure if I'm missing something. This whole zone's really neat. Oh, the Queen's Gardens. This is a whole other zone. I don't know about the Queen yet, do I? I only know about the King. The King was either a great worm or a guy who took some kind of kingly power from a great worm. And the three sages are the three load-bearing bosses keeping this guy locked down. Except they're not bosses, they just die instantly. Q 
curiouser and curiouser. I feel like I should come back after I explore the fog zone. The fog... fog... fog guy place. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's the first corpse that I've seen that's dangerous. Didn't know that was a mechanic. Guess I do now, though. The queen got killed by Sans. You know what that sounds like to me? That sounds like spoilers for a game I haven't played. Oh, that was under here. Aha, okay. Yep, that's true. That's right. I have never played Undertale. I played the first five minutes of it, thought it was kind of uh, irritating and preachy, and then never went back. I've always meant to play it, but I've just never got around to trying it for long enough for that it would actually stick. I apologize for this deeply heretical opinion. Video game app. Oh, fuck, I died. I thought I had more hit points than that. Oh, well. Anyway, I was going to make a joke about video game apostasy sounding like a good name for a YouTube channel. Unfortunately, I've already picked mine. I made the very foolish decision ten years ago when I first started my channel to have, um... Well, not ten years. It was 2006. 2016, four, five, six, seven, seven-ish years ago? Fucking hell. Uh, when I first created my channel, I, I chose a cool sounding name without thinking of how difficult it would be to spell or Google. And so now I've got this millstone around my neck of the name Self-Critical Automaton. I still like it. Um... But I do think, I do think it's, if I had at some point shortened it like Self-Crit Auto, my life would have been easier. And maybe I'd have more subscribers, you never know. Speaking of subscribing, why not give my channel a follow? Which on YouTube is a subscription and on here is a follow, if I am not mistaken. Because on here, Twitch, a subscription means that you're paying for something, which nobody should ever have to do with regards to me, fucking hell. For all that I appreciate when people do, nevertheless. And oh my god, I'm talking way too much. <clears throat> every every time I stream nowadays, I'm like, gotta remember. Gotta remember not to talk. Gotta remember to stop wittering constantly, because your throat is permanently, potentially damaged. But no, here I am, and I'm still not shutting up even as I talk about how damaged my throat is. Oh, that's a good, that's a good sploshing noise. That's a good gabloosh. Oh, he's fucked off. God damn it. Now I have to go all the way upstairs to buy my map. Fuck you, Cornifer. This is the first time when his practices have screwed me over. It's a nice touch that they, uh... I love how much of an impact The Sopranos has made on you recently. Uh, but yeah, no, that is... Something. I don't remember what I was gonna say.
I should probably be finding my way out instead of in. And yet here I go. <laughs> oh. It all keeps exploding me. I think I'm going to go on holiday. Hey man. I'm going to get some time in the sun. Take me to the surface. Well, see, the thing about but money is that if I give this man some eggs, uh, he will give me money for them, which is a uh, relationship that exists in real life. Fun fact. Huh. They have a strange... This guy's complaining about some new guys. They have a strange look to them, gaudy and intimidating. Perhaps you suspect they hide their true appearance? You'd be right. They favour projection over truth, shrouding themselves in forms dreamed. Best be careful, assisting them might benefit you, but who knows what suffering it may cause. This is in reference to one of the uh, like DLC packs, which you get for free with the game. So I guess it's more like downloadable updates or something, uh, which I accidentally toggled on. Um... Anyway, as I understand it, if you pay this guy eggs, he summons your ghost. Um, I should have been reading what he says, but uh, I wasn't paying attention. I've got a zillion of these things because I never use them because I have literally only ever once lost my ghost. Sounds like me when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> ah, you seem to have made peace with your regrets in a most novel and I dare say brutal fashion. What a joy to behold. Farewell for now. I will think of you as I savour my meal. Anyway, I accidentally activated a DLC pack that I didn't mean to activate. Uh... So there's like a circus of assholes on the other side of town. Huh. It was 150 in the in the underground. Does he charge more if you if you have to go up the surface? That feels wrong. I visited his underground previously and he taught me the final nail art. Which I've already forgotten what it was. Anyway. Actually, now that I think about it, how many... How many thingamajigs do I have? How many... I thought I might have had some more pale ore. I think I need three pale ore to get an upgrade. I could have sworn I had more, but I don't have any. Neat. Okay. Intriguing. Okay, so I've been to some places.
I wonder if my next stream series should be Sekiro. I was thinking about uh, Dark Souls 3, but you never know. Maybe it should be Dark Souls 2. Because I've only ever played Dark Souls 2 once, for reasons. Ow. So if I go the other way, I go to the mysterious teacher's archives. Maybe I have to reach that from the other side. Yeah, it looks like it. So this leads up to the green path. Have I been to this part of the green path? Whoops. That's a busted controller for you. It will occasionally throw you back into the hole you just jumped out of. Hey, wait a second. Oh, okay. I thought I didn't do damage when I landed on that. I thought, I don't know. Whoopsie daisy. I'm so smart. Where am I even going? There's gotta be a treasure in here. There's always there's always a treasure in a cool room. Wait, did the little ones explode in here? They didn't previously. <laughs> Ow. I can get through here without dying right now. <laughs> Real smooth. I wonder if it'd be easier to go from the green path. From here, drop down. That might actually be faster to where I'm trying to get. I don't know what's going to happen when I release the third uh, the third dreamer so far when I when I released the first one the crossroads became infected when I released the second one I don't think anything happened When I release the third one, I feel like it, something irreversible may occur. So I'm inclined to try and kill all the rest of every boss I can find before that happens, but what if it doesn't happen? And also, what if I get bored?
Yeah, this is shorter, I think. Oh, wait, hang on. Ah! Haha, <laughs> get juggled, idiot. I still think this is shorter. I think it's geographically shorter and it's less dangerous. Therefore, this is probably the way I should go. The route I should take. Oh, actually, I know what my next next streaming uh, game will be. Uh, I'm going to stream Resident Evil Original Flavor uh, on or around Halloween, I think. I always like to do Halloween streams. Um, I think, actually, my first like streaming series that actually worked and that I completed was Resident Evil 8. Which I think I started at around Halloween. So that's a nice, nice, uh, just a cool, cool dealio, you know? So I guess I should try and finish, I should try and finish Hollow Knight before then. So I should do more Hollow Knight streams. Because there's not so very much of it left, probably. Whoa. Jesus. Mind out. Fucking hell. Danger zone up in here. Where am I going? Oh yeah, up. Motherfucker. Ah, two? Two explosions? Explode me twice? If I aim these things right, can I make them... not explode me? No, apparently not. Can't get down there. That was close. Oops. Good God. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if it would be a good idea to equip the pin that gives me extra hit points. <laughs> Actually, shit, I know what would be a really good, really good pin. If I don't make it through this time, I'm going to equi equip the, uh, the mobile shield. Because with a bit of luck, that will set things off without me having to use my, my this. Which will make my life easier. Okay, made it with more hit points this time. That's promising. Ow. Fuck. Ow. <laughs> Hoisted by my own petard. Couldn't be. Ow. It's almost like this is a an atmosphere inimical and hostile to I was gonna say human life, but I'm a I'm I'm a bug. Bug man life. Okay. I like bugs too. 
I like the bugs in this game as well. They're all extremely adorable and deadly. Fuck! I'm gonna get through this room if it's the last thing I do. This room, this room is the the nosk of platforming. <laughs> I haven't struggled with any of the platforming, but this, this is rough. Oh shit, I forgot to equip the thing I was going to equip. I love cartoonishly overusing that. Right, um, what am I going to unequip? Uh, let's get rid of fast attacking in favour of... The rotating shield, which might be able to explode stuff from outside of the danger zone. Yeah, if I bring enough soul in, that might work, but it's a pain in the ass to go farm soul. I'm hoping that this thing will explode them from slightly beyond the danger radius, maybe. Or I might be walking in here with a long stick that will automatically explode every landmine that comes within danger death reach of me, which would be bad. It's also going to set those off, I've just realised. <laughs> Fuck! Hell yeah, chain reactions, let's go! to find out if my plan can possibly work. It's not going to work, is it? <gasps> it doesn't set it off! It doesn't set it off! <gasps> okay. Well, maybe, I can, maybe I can detonate some of the big jellies a bit more safely. Or not. Whoop! That one wasn't! Oh boy! Oh, fuck. Maybe I should use this thing against the Nosk. And then just focus on dodging and let this do the damage. Doesn't do as much damage as my sword, I don't think, but it sure is unpredictable. Ah, goddammit, that one every time catches me. I just don't notice it. Ow. I want to leave the valley now. Can't quite reach. What happens if I stand right here? Actually, that does help. Being able to hit these things is really useful. Jesus! Can I can I get through that? Success! Oh, a charm notch! Holy shit, that's actually probably the best possible loot I could have got at this point. That's really good. Hell yeah. Ow. Actually, there's a charm that makes your invulnerability from taking a hit last longer. That probably would have been a good shout here. Now that I think about it. I think that was everything there was to find here. Time to leave. Does this go? Did I know about this? You guys heard about this? Forgotten crossroads. I 
Oh, the, there's an, oh yeah, the iframe charm for Nosk. You're right, that's clever. I should have thought of that. Sadly, I am a fool. Oh, I did know about this. I just haven't been through here. I just, I've never, don't think I've ever actually been through that hole. Maybe once. Good to know it's there though. But yeah, no, I'll call that hashtag worth. I think that was fine. For a, a charm notch. Those things are great. Oh, I've been through here. Also good to know. Motherfucker. There we go. I do love the farting elephants very, very much. They're adorable. Can I get through here? No. Huh, weird. Something, something tells me I may fight a jellyfish boss at some point. Oh, Quirrell. Are you going to fight me? We've never fought Quirrell. Doesn't this kingdom just abound with surprises? A building atop an acid lake. Despite the sight, I can't help but feel familiarity. Something stirs in my mind, but I can't tell what. I thought it my lust for discovery that led me here, but now there seems to be something else. This building beckons me. So Quirrell, I think, is like me. He's one of the knights who was banished from this realm and sent out into the, into the endless empty wastes, who is now being drawn back by some kind of deep, compulsive impulse. Some kind of almost migratory drive. Um, but we seem to not really remember who we are. There's a few of us around. Hmm. I can feel it calling. Dare I head in? I seem to be the only one who's successfully recently uh, gained the royal crest and gone to the evil underground place. Hmm. I think, I think the protagonist might be the only one. Oh, I hear a sad worm. Where are you, buddy? Hmm. Sad worm sounds like a euphemism, and yet it is nevertheless a very consistent mechanic in this video game. Oh, can I get up in a hole here? Can I can I find a sad worm in a hole? Don't know. I can hear him. I'm maybe I probably have to come from above, I think. But I'm not sure how. There doesn't seem to be any way to get in here from above. Hmm. That's gonna bother me. Anyway, time to go murder the third of the ancient sages whose fault this is, I guess. Or I guess it's more accurate to say that the uh the guy whose fault this is, is is the king who decided to try and prolong his nation's existence instead of accepting the natural cycle of life and death of the world. And uh, instead... Instead did terrible existential crimes. Or esoteric crimes, probably. Boom. Haha, <laughs> get exploded, idiot, but the idiot is me. Anyway, so because he did that eventually, in traditional Dark Soulsy fashion, uh, this brought some kind of a strange curse upon the land because nothing could change and everything stagnated. 
And that's generally a bad thing to do. And therefore also... Oh yeah, there's tons of lore in this game. I've been talking about it on previous streams as stuff happens and as I discover things. Thir York Abba Absence, Outer Shallow Gate Contain, Light M Vessel, Light M Vessel M Egg M Seal, Thir Withdraw, Exterior O Seal Within Dreamer in Twixt Atwixt, Contain Light Their Dream, Ch Abba Ungroth Contain. This is the most sort of technological place we've seen. We've seen a lot of wizards and sorcery. We haven't seen much in the way of, you know, Frankenstein mad science. But yeah, so uh, the lore of this game is pretty much the same as the lore of Dark Souls. Big King Sad Guy uh, did what would normally in Dark Souls be the flame thing, but instead in this is some kind of a bug thing. And because he did the bug thing, he prolonged the existence of an aspect of reality that shouldn't be prolonged and should be allowed to progress naturally, the life and death cycle of things. And so now everything is all, everything's all busted up. And the world is slowly poisoned. And uh, three powerful sorcerers of some kind or other sealed up existence in order to make it safe. Or sealed up the kingdom to make it safe for everybody. I can't hurt that right now. And uh, you are being drawn back. Hey, Quirrell. Cool. A co-op battle. What the hell was I saying? I should probably be focusing on the fight. Anyway, yeah, three three powerful sorcerers sealed away the kingdom in order to prevent the, the corruption from spreading. Um, they had various opinions about whether or not that was the correct thing to do. And now, we, the knights, are being drawn back through some kind of... some kind of esoteric uh, cause or medium. Something is something is compelling us to come back. And I guess finish what was started to some extent. Oh hey. <laughs> you get a big bounce if you if you do an attack on top. That's fun. Supposedly, creatures like us can choose to either perpetuate the cycle by keeping the place ultimately frozen and stored away, or we can attempt to break the cycle by taking on the mantle of king and taking the king's seal from the ancient worm that created the first king. And if you do that, you gain access to a nasty hole at the bottom of the world full of a million corpses of guys who look just like you. Which I first took to mean that this cycle has been repeating for a very long time, with us being called back and dying. But I now suspect means, in fact, um, most of us were sacrificed to create something, and whatever it is we created is what's the cause, the mechanism for this... Uh, awful situation the world finds itself now in. So, um... And that you're simply the first one to have actually claimed the royal seal and go down there and have a look. And what did you find? Well, you found all of the rest of you who were sacrificed in ancient times to create the black egg and whatever's inside it. So...
It's all a little bit mysterious right now. A tank full of charged luma flies. Neat. Of absence their abundance, shell outer o inner, place in absence their void liquid substance, o weave absence inner, o shell outer their matter, pitch void vessel absence all outer contain. Wait, where did Quirrell go? What happened to my boy? Something glows within the tank. Oh, hey. Did she call you too then? I realize it's no coincidence we arrived together. Though much of my memory is blank, this place I recall. Within these chambers, the teacher sought to store the kingdom's knowledge, and at its core, she stored herself. To save Hallowness, the teacher willingly became a seal, but upon herself she enacted an additional protection. Though I cannot recall its happening, I played a part in that feat. She called me here now to reverse that protection, all in aid of you. Do not hesitate. The choice to reform was hers, not mine. She knows what you would do and seems to welcome it. A figure sleeps within the tank. Time for the dream nail. That reminds me, I should go back to the, the dream sorceress and upgrade my na dream nail a bit more. I do feel bad beating these things to death when they don't fight back, but that's what you gotta do to finish the game, so... They all seem to want it by this point. I suspect they feel that they perhaps did wrong. That's the third seal. Now the egg, I guess, can hatch. The madam's life is extinguished, and with it her seal breaks. It's a heavy thing you attempt, but I've seen your prowess up close, and she believed you capable. Be on your journey, then. Allow me to rest a time. With the deed complete, I begin to feel my age. Maybe he's not one of us. He, he might just be a guy. I don't. He might not be one of the knights. How do I get back out? Do I have to climb all the way back out? I don't wanna... I can really see why why this game captured so many hearts and minds. It really is just Dark Souls, but sweeter. I hope there wasn't a shortcut out that I missed. I mean, it would be popular with bug fans. Makes total sense to me. Where's that? W oh, hey, did something smash? No, this smashed. Where's the bug? Where's the grub? Where's the sad worm? It's gonna drive me insane. Hmm. Well, that leaves us a couple things now. 
Queen's Gardens, I think, is the only zone left to explore that I haven't explored. Maybe? There's like a room I haven't explored over in. Over up here. So I think that's everything. So I just need to explore the green, uh, the, the Queen's Garden, and then I guess take care of a couple optional bosses and then come back and fight this guy. I do still need to go back to the Coliseum of Fools and uh, school some fools, I guess. Let's see. I think... What do I want to do right now? I think I'm going to go back to the moth... The moth mystic and get her to give me more more points some more I did well points having done well Actually, I do want to kind of have a look at the crossroads. I assumed that with each broken seal, the the infected zone would spread, but it looks like the infectedness hasn't hasn't gone any any further than the crossroads. It's just worse in the crossroads than it was. Yeah, interesting. So, you already have 700 essence. I wonder whether the dreamers are watching you as you work, or even that old king. Well, they've killed the dreamers. That lock of theirs. Desperate, but very clever. I wonder how long they thought it could hold. I hold no disdain for them, though. As history goes on, I grow numb to its repetitions. Take your gift and continue collecting essence. Once you have 900, come back and visit me. Ooh. This kingdom is full of old memories, both beautiful and grotesque. Seek them out, reveal them, and gather essence. So the best way to get the... I think I've gotten most of the essence trees, which means I mostly just need to fight ghosts now. That's one. There might be one or two more ghosts i found, I'm not sure. And there's the king as well, who's here, behind some kind of a seal, but I'm not sure if I can fight him. So I, I can go fight Nosk again, I guess, or I could go here and... There's something over here that I want to talk to, actually, so I think I'll take the train and go see if I can... get some questions answered. I should probably switch this shield off since I don't need it anymore. I keep forgetting that this place is full of devious traps. Ah. 
Hey man, what's up? My good friend, you wear that bright mark of relationship. Then you've met her, perhaps? Her who'd guard the mark, the gendered child? <laughs> Excuse me? A sprightly thing, isn't she? Pale gift to the nest and the beast, and a fair trade for a sacrifice maid. Long she's been distant, it'd do our spirits well were she to grace us a visit home. Hee <laughs> hee, oh, I'm sorry. Old memories cause my mind to wander on such silly diversions, especially when I'm so famished. Ow. Come on, man, don't be like that. Anyway, this thing gives us occasional cryptic bits of information about stuff. I have no idea what the gendered child might refer to, though. Let's see. Is there anywhere else I even want to go? Actually, can I get- I can't get up here. I thought that I would be clever, but I am not clever, sadly. I am a fool. Anyway, if there's anyone watching who hasn't already, why not give me a follow? Why not check out my YouTube channel where I make in-depth Let's Plays? Uh, and uh, I'm definitely not saying this just because I can't think of anything else to say while I go back through this area I've been through a whole bunch of times and throw myself into a spike pit over and over. Frankly, it's slander that you would even suggest such a thing. Is it slander or slander? Or does that depend on whether you're northern? No. Well, I might take this opportunity just to go back to the surface, frankly. Not sure how much Geo I had when I died, but I don't think it matters. I don't, have, I don't really have anything to spend it on anymore. I think I'm just going to go to the Forgotten Crossroads and go take a look at that big old egg and then I'm going to call it a night because my butt's getting sore from sitting in this uncomfortable ass chair. There's definitely a handful of things that I still don't have. My question at the moment is really, do I want to actually unlock everything? Find every secret in this entire game? Find every worm? Find every one, all, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight remaining pins, all of the everything? Because if I try and do that live, I'm going to lose my mind because there's going to be a million things I can't quite find because I don't remember, you know, some room six hours ago. Why does everything explode now? God, this place is a mess. Is this you? Is this all your fault? Yeah. 
Yonic. Oh well, time to plunge inside. I feel like I'm marching towards a final boss. I don't know if I'll be allowed to go back and do stuff if I kill this thing. This is this is interesting. Every single aspect of this game is so beautiful. I love these primordial symbolic images. Vessel, though bound, you shall know the state of the world. Hallownest shall be whole again. Wait, is it me? Was I in the black egg all along? That's curious. 82% completed. What does that factor in? Does that count like items or does that count locations as well? What have I got left to find? Oh, I should have changed my pins. I am I'm actually going to go back and do that. Get rid of this. Oh, it goes to 112%. Cool. I love it when games do that. I want quick slash. What am I going to spend my final point on? Oh, yes. No way. That's not it. Oh, steady body, I like that one. It would make sense if the extra percentages were for the expansions, which presumably I'll be allowed to go complete if I explore in here. Oh, okay. I see. So this guy was around, and he has since... Maybe they sealed him into the Black Egg. I thought they created something and it had never hatched, never emerged, but I guess what they did was create something, realize it was bad, and then seal it away. I really hope doing this doesn't lock me out of anything. Hey man, you good? Are we cool? Oh boy. Oh, we're not cool. I think the monument said that by the Hollow Knight's sacrifice, we were, um... Hollow Nest was allowed to continue. He doesn't seem like he made a willing sacrifice. He seems like he was locked away. Without his consent. I don't know what he's doing over there. Oh, he got knocked down. I do not wish to have the orange juice today. Oh, 
I have no idea how close I got to beating him. Was that the first phase change or like... Like how many phases? Oh! Okay, hi. Welp. I suppose I could go off and do DLC stuff to see if that helps me level up before I come back and fight this guy. And I could go fight Nosk forever. Or I could get a non-broken controller that would actually help. I'm just going to let him kill me. I'm just going to have another go. Sometimes it's easier just to submit. BFF love this, loves this game and is going to be real disappointed if I beat the final boss whilst he's not watching. Come on, man. Can you give me like a second to heal up? So that's a no, then. I think I'll give this one more try, and then I'll call it a night. Immediately wastes a hit point. so many of those, you know. Well, maybe one more try after this since I'm just completely screwing this up.
I should remember just to dodge through that. Phase two. You good, buddy? You feeling all right? Oh, fuck. Not sure how to dodge that. Stay up here where it's safe. Ah, beans. Made it pretty far that time. <sighs> I wish I'd have to dry my hands. Got that gamer sweat going. <laughs> Need to start bottling it for all of you. I really hate it when I just take like five hits in a row. <laughs> it happens sometimes against any boss. It's just a really irritating state you can get stuck in where you, your instinctual dodge from the last hit takes you directly into the path of the next hit. Okay, one more try, one more try. This is like my fourth one more try. <laughs> Oh, don't say that. I'm going to get absolutely tilted. I think I've almost had him once and I almost, almost had him twice. Yourself. Don't look at the chat while fucking fighting an evil deity. Well, I don't know that he's evil. Don't know that he's a deity. He's something. He sure is. He's, he's a guy of some kind. Can you give me like two seconds to heal, buddy? 
Come on. For old time's sake! Fuck! Jeezy crazy. It's fine. I'm fine. I'm not fine. Oh god. I could probably get rid of the fast dodge in favour of something, actually. I don't dodge enough in this fight for it to matter. At least not usefully. Ow. <laughs> Yeesh. Yeah, no, I think I'm out. <laughs> so, uh, I will leave you here for today in this, uh, empty void. This terrible place. This place between spaces at the center of the black egg. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me on this adventure, which is not quite finished yet. It's got... 86 would be 24? No, 14. 14 plus another 16, so like 30% left? Jesus, that's loads. And that's going to be all from me. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share. I also stream on Twitch, and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.